today as i said i want to speak to you on something i've titled that one thing that one thing that one thing that one thing i want to take my scripture reading from the book of second kings chapter five second kings chapter five i'm speaking on something i've titled that one thing that's one thing that's one thing second kings chapter five now let's read second kings the fifth chapter and the bible say now naaman the commander of the armies the army of the king of syria was a great and honorable man the Bible says Naaman was a great man. He was an honorable man. That is how scripture refers Na I mean, I mean, that's how scripture refers Naaman. He says he was a great man. He was an honorable man. Uh, and he was the commander of the armies of Syria. In contemporary terms, we will say that Naaman was the minister of defense for the whole nation of Syria. Now, the Bible says uh, he was a great man and honorable in the eyes of his master because the Lord had given him victory over Syria. This is a man. Um, 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 this is a man that God used. He led the armies of Syria to gain victory in war. This is a man who was a great man, a man of battle, a man that understood the dynamics of warfare, a man that understood um, 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 the, and, and the ability to assess things and the ability to break through when it comes to battle. But now the Bible says he was also a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. He was a mighty man of valor, but now now, the problem with this great man, the problem with this man um, 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 of battle, the problem with this man who was um, an army commander, the problem with this man who the Bible calls him an honorable man was that he was a leper. My God, I, I feel the anointing already. Now watch this. The Bible says this man was a great man. This man was an honorable man. This man was the army of the commander of the armies of Syria. This man was a man of valor. But the, uh, the Bible talks and talks and talks and talks and come down to say, but this man was a leper regardless of who he was regardless of the of the of the of the of the of the influence he had regardless of everything that was around him the scripture leaves it by saying he was a leper this man who was a great man this man who was an army commander this man who was a man of influence this man who was someone that everybody admired to be he had one thing that was a tone in his flesh. He had one thing that was frustrating his life. He had one thing that was not making him happy. And that one thing was that he was a leper. You know, if you look at yourself and you look at your life, most of the time, that is what happens. You, you are a great man. You've got a good job. You've got something that you can fall back on. You've got a nice family. You've got things that are working for you. But there is that one thing that always gives you sleepless nights. I I believe Naaman was a man who could call himself an accomplished man, the minister of defense of the whole of the armies of Syria. At that time, Syria was one of the greatest nations of the time, you know. Um, 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 Syria was one of the greatest nations at the time and some Naaman becoming an army commander of such a great nation will feel like he has accomplished. He, he, he has reached um, to the, the pinnacle of his life and his career. But some way, somehow, there was that one thing that frustrated Naaman's life. There was that one thing that limited and frustrated his destiny. There was that one thing that any time his name and his CV is being read, it kind of give him sleepless nights. Today my assignment is that God will take that one thing away from your life. You know, there is that one thing that always, is always causing you to cry at night. That one thing uh, is always causing you to feel like you are not a woman enough. That one thing is always causing you to feel like you are not a man enough. That one thing is always frustrating your life and your career but I prayed in the name of Jesus that one thing that was limiting Naaman's life that one thing that was frustrating Naaman that one thing that was making Naaman have sleepless nights that one thing that was not making 
Naaman feel like he had a he was a great man. That one thing as God dealt with it, I pray that today God will deal with that one thing. As I said, my subject for tonight is that one thing. Every one of us, there is that one thing in your life that kind of give you sleepless nights. There is that one thing in your life that kind of frustrates your life. There is that one thing in your life, regardless of how accomplished you are, regardless of how um, the influence and the uh, that you command, regardless of, uh, of the fact that you've got a good job, you've got a good family, regardless of the fact that things seem to be okay on the one side, there is that one thing that always frustrates in your life. There is that one thing that is always causing you to feel pain. You, 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 you like, oh, you, people think you've got a job. People think you are okay. But there is that one thing that is always all the time on your heart. You, it, it makes you cry. You, you, you put on makeup. But once you go out, you smile. You, 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 you are bubbly on the outside. But once you come home, that one thing seems to cause you to cry on your bed. That one thing seems to frustrate your destiny. That one thing seems to not make you become who you were so, I mean, who you want to be in life. But I pray today in the name of Jesus that God will deal with that one thing. That one thing. Some of you, that one thing could be a job situation. You have a good family, but you don't have a job. Everybody around your life seems to be doing well, but there is something concerning your job that is not right. Some of you, it could be in the area of your relationship or marriage. That one thing, you are okay that thing taking out you are hundred percent okay but i pray in the mighty name of jesus that that one thing shall be dealt with some of you possibly you are here in england you, everybody seems you are okay but your papers are not sorted but that one thing i pray that god shall come through some of you you you, you seem to have a business but the things does not seem to go on the way it should everything seems to be okay but there is that one thing thing that seems not to be okay. You know, when, when everything the Bible said, Naaman was an army commander. Naaman was a man of valor. Naaman was a master. Naaman was a man of battle. Naaman had all the accolades and, and all the attributes and all the achievements physically. But Naaman what, was a leper. That The Bible says, but Naaman was a leper. If they look at you, you are a beautiful lady. If they look at you, you've got a nice family. If they look at you on the other side, you are bubbly. But there is something that is going on in your marriage that is giving you sleepless nights. If they look at you, some things add up and it looks like everything is okay. But there is that one thing that seems not to add up. You know, I pray that tonight, that one thing, there is that one thing that is giving someone that they wish that one day you wake up and it's no more there. You wish that one day you wake up and that one thing has evaporated and... Um, and has been has vanished and disappeared from your life you wish that that one thing you wake up and it is no more part of your life but today i pray in the name of jesus if god did it for naaman i pray that may that god do it for you if god did it for naaman i pray that may jehovah god do it for you in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you by the mandate of the Holy Ghost, that Jehovah God will do it for you. That one thing that is causing you to cry, that financial problem that is causing you every now and then to be running away from friends, that one thing that seems to be limiting and frustrating your destiny, that one thing that seems to be um, 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 frustrating your life and your career, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that one thing shall be dealt with in Jesus' name. Some of you, you are okay, you've got a job, you've got a nice career, on the outside you've got a nice car, you drive everything seems to be okay but now what happens is that there is that one thing that seems not to add up there is that one thing that seems to give you sleepless nights your life is like Naaman Naaman was an accomplished man but he was a leper today my word and my prayer for you is simple that God will deal with that one thing if it is in your marriage God will deal with it if it concerns your relationship God will deal with it and if it concerns your finances and your career God will deal with this whatever it is that is making you feel 
frustrated, that is making you feel depressed, that is making you all the time, it feels like you are not of yourself, that God will come through and deal with it for you. Tell yourself, if God sorted Naaman out, if God delivered Naaman, I pray that that one thing that is making you cry every night, I pray that that one thing that is making you feel like you are not a man enough, I pray that that one thing that is making you feel that you are, you are, you are not a, um, a Christian enough. I pray that God would deliver you. You know, if God should do that one thing for you, your joy will be full. If God should do that one thing for you, your life will be okay. If God should do that one thing for you, everything is going to be alright. But right now, as we speak, that one thing gives you sleepless nights. That one thing causes you to feel that you are not a woman enough. That one thing is always making you frustrated. But I pray in the mind the name of Jesus, that Jehovah God shall deliver you from that one thing. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that Jehovah God shall come through for you. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that Jehovah God shall come through for you. And that one thing that is causing you to cry, that one thing that is causing you not to feel like you are okay, God shall come through and break you free in the name of Jesus. If God delivered Naaman tonight, that but in your life, that one thing that is not making your joy full, that one thing that causes you to cry in the night, that one thing that is giving you sleepless nights, that one thing that is causing your family to be running away from people, that one thing, Naaman was an army, was, a, was a, an army commander, he was a man of valor, a man of battles, someone of influence, but there was one thing in his life that made him cry, there was one thing in his life that made him hide from people. There was one thing in his life that was not making him come up and match up to standard. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that may Jehovah God come through for you. That may that one thing be delivered from your life. You are declared. We are about to pray pretty soon. The Bible says he was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. That thing has become like a leprosy. You know, leprosy those days they hid it. No one knew that Naaman was suffering from this disease. It was only the people that was closest to him that knew. But Naaman had a way of covering up the situation. Like you. You have a nice way of covering up that situation. You know you don't have it. You know the marriage is not working. You know the relationship is not working. You know something is wrong with your life. But like Naaman, because of the public, Naaman covered his situation. He covered his leprosy. He did not want anybody to have a slightest idea that there was something wrong. That is what some of you are going through. You don't have anyone. You don't want anyone to have the slightest idea that there is something wrong in the marriage. You have a nice way. You put up a very nice makeup when you go out there for the sake of the cameras. You are bubbling and hugging and hanging out and doing things as if it is working. But you know very well it is not working. You have a nice way of dressing good, making everybody think that financially you are okay. But you know very well you are not okay. You know, Naaman had the situation, but he had a very nice way of covering it. That is how some of you, you are. There is a serious problem in your life, but you've got a very nice way of covering it. But I cannot tell you something. Sometimes you've got to come out and tell the law, God, I still must. I have had enough of this covering. I've covered this thing for far too long. It's time for you to come through for me and heaven shall come through. If you don't acknowledge that you have a problem. Trust me, no one can help you. If you don't acknowledge that you need help, nobody can be able to help you. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that today you lay yourself bare before God and say, oh Lord, may you take away this one thing from my life. That one thing that is not making me happy. That one thing that is making me sad all the time. That one thing that is always making me cry. That one thing that is always making me feel like I am not enough. Oh, Oh 
Lord, I come before you. Deliver me from this one thing. And heaven shall come through for you. You need to come to that point where you lay yourself bare before Jehovah. And tell the Lord, oh Lord, I need your hand today. I need you to come through for me. That one thing needs to go tonight. Today we are going to pray that Jehovah God shall come through. And that one thing you shall receive deliverance. I don't know what it is. Naaman covered his leprosy. You are covering your marriage problem. Some of you, you are covering your financial problem. You are very broke. You are so broke that even broke to the core, but you don't want anybody to see. You, you are free. There is a very nice way that you do to cover the situations, but I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that Jehovah God will cause you to receive deliverance. That Jehovah God will cause you to cause to receive deliverance. That regardless of how hard it has become Come, regardless of what it is that you are trying to cover today as you present it before Elohim Jehovah God shall come through for you that one thing you are going to receive deliverance I don't know whether it is in your marriage whether it is in your career whether it is in your finances where, whatever area it is even if it's in your ministry God has the power to deliver now the Bible says and the Syrians had gone out on race. He said, if only my master was with the prophet who is in Samaria, my master shall receive healing. He said, if only my master was with the prophet who is in Samaria, this little girl, Naaman through this little girl was able to get a word that brought his transformation. Sometimes, you know what? The solution to your problem is in the problem. You need to understand, Naaman had covered it. Nobody knew, but the answer to his problem was in his house. It was not out there. The answer to his problem was right there with him, but he couldn't figure it out. The answer to his problem, the person that God used to bring a breakthrough was right around him, but he didn't know. Most of the time, the people that God will use to bring a deliverance to you are not too far away from you. The people that God we use to bring you to lead you to your next level they are not too far away from you you need the revelation you need the understanding you need the spiritual sensitivity to be able to understand that the people that God is using to take me to my next level, they are not too far away. They are just right by me. But you need to be able to connect so that they buy it. So you need them this discernment to be able to connect to the right person so that God will use them to bring you your next level. Some of you, you are running around, going here to here looking for answers. Answers are right there, right here. The person, the man that God will use to bring you your deliverance is not far away. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that may God bring you deliverance. May heaven come through for you. May that one thing that is giving you sleepless nights, may that one thing that is causing you to cry all the time, may God come through for you in the name of Jesus. May God come through for you in the name of Jesus. That one thing that makes you feel you are not okay. That one thing that makes you feel you are not a woman enough. That one thing that makes you feel that everything is going down. I pray in the name of Jesus that may Yahweh come through for somebody. There is someone that is watching me right now. Ah, my God, they say yes, the Lord, after tonight, you are receiving your deliverance. That one thing is going to be a thing of the past. The last time you went through it, the last time you suffered it, the last time you experienced it, is tonight. After tonight's prayer, I prophesy in the name Name of Jesus, may you receive permanent deliverance. May you receive permanent deliverance from that thing that is giving you sleepless nights. May you receive permanent deliverance from that thing that is causing you to cry all the time. May you receive deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We are about to pray. 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 We are about to take our prayer. We are taking our first prayer. Tomorrow, uh, I will continue um, 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 brief. Tomorrow, we will not have tomorrow. Tomorrow, there is um, I, I've got um, um, two services. So tomorrow, we will not have it. But Monday, from Monday, Tuesday, from Monday going, is going to be a marathon. 
is not is going to be consistent from Monday every evening. I'll be coming your way with grace hour. My God, and trust me, is going to be mega and awesome. Heaven is going to speak. Great things are going to happen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that God shall come through for you. You shall receive an impartation. You shall receive deliverance. You shall receive a visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Naaman was an army general. He was a man of valor. He was a man of battles. He was an honorable man. But the Bible says, but he was a leper. There was one thing in Naaman's life that made him cry. There was one thing in Naaman's life that made him feel he was not a man enough. There was one thing with all the accolades and all the achievements. There was one thing that always made Naaman feel, what is wrong with me? Why is this leprosy not going? Like some of you, you've got a job, you've got a family, everything looks okay on the outside. But there is that one thing that is not making you okay, that makes you cry all the time. There is that man that is always making you cry. There is that for a situation that is always giving you heartache. There is that official, that banker, that lawyer that is always making you feel like there is a problem. But today in the name of Jesus, I pray by the mandate of Yahweh, you shall receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. I want you to share the broadcast right now. We are about to pray. Tomorrow we are going, I'm um, sorry, on Monday, on Monday we are going to continue. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be another season of intensive session. That one thing needs to live your life. You are praying in the name of Jesus. That anything that has become like a leprosy in your life, anything that has become like a bat in that one thing in your life that is not making you happy, that frustrates you, that causes you to look down. Once it sparks, you don't know what to do. Once it comes up, you don't know what to do. You are praying in the mighty name of Jesus that may God deliver you. May God bring deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and let's pray. Masukapa, Rababa. Kusha bataya, rante ten debri apata, asuka panda baya, raba bako shate, iya badu kabatua dataya, rapere be kabranta ba, rapa bara bashwa nara bata, rapa nda bako sha. Somebody lift up your voice. Pray that God will deliver you. That one thing that is making you cry every night. That one thing that is not causing you to have peace in your life. That one thing that is frustrating the family. That one thing that is in the family that everybody seems to suffer from. You are declaring today. May Jehovah God deliver you from that one thing. That one thing. You know, everything seems okay, but that one thing you are praying, may God come through for you. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Rapanda baraba sandebeya, rapanda baraba shaba, 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 iya papanda baraba, raba bashwa daraba, aparwa kabranta ba, raba raba shanda ba ya, iya aparwa kabranta ba. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, iye de de bo shaba, abranda ba zere de bo shaba, apara. Father, we pray. May you deliver us from that one thing. That one thing that is causing your people to have sleepless nights. That one thing that is not making them have peace. That one thing that is causing them to cry every day. That one thing that is causing them to feel frustrated and stressed. Father, we pray for your deliverance. Masukapa, Rabba 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 
Rosaba, Aparaba, Zerebosa, Rebebe, Saberebosa, Rebebe, Zerebosa, Aparaba, Zerebosa, Rabarabo, Zerebosa, Aparaba, Sandevea, Aparaba, Sandevea, Aparaba, Sandevea, Aparaba, Sandevea, Aparaba, Sandevea, Ia Paraba, Sanavaya, Abrandava, Sabaraba, Ia Paraba, Sandevea, Abrantos, Kebebe, Ia Papandava, Ia Branta Tandavaya, Ia Brandava, Swantata, Rabbe Kapa, Aparaba, Sandebe Kapa, Rabbara Bantavaya, Ayandava, Swande Brianta, Aparaba Kosavaya, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, Isa Kuadaya, Randa Bazianta, Rapa Panda Bakosa Bataya, Apada Bakosi Brianta Paya, Apada Baraba Sanda Bataya, Apada Brasan de Vinivia, Abranda Baswara Brantavaya, Apada Bakosa Bantava, Apada Baraba Sivini Vinivia, Rebele Briabantava, Apada Bakosa Bayaba Zebebeha, Abranda Basante. Iman koda ba zibi di bikapa, rapa panda ba kosha ba ya, ayan terere de bos kabranta, rapa panda ba kosha ba, aya panda ba kosha ba ya, iya panda ba si ante te, rebere bri anta ba ya, apa panda ba kosha ba ya, ayan terere de bos kaba ya, rapa panda branta ba ya, apa panda ba kosha branta ba, rebere bere me kapa, rebere bere me kapa, rebere bere me kapa, rebere bere me kapa. Rebe <laughs> Father, we pray, may you deliver your people from that one thing, anything in their lives that is causing pain, that is causing hurt, that is bringing stress. Father, we pray for your visitation. Father, we pray for your hand to come through. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, Mika Dusaba. Ibadu shabanta baya, repere bere 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 kapa, 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 rabara bara shanda ba, rabanda bara bo shabaya, rabanda bara bo shabaya, rabanda bara bo shabaya, ikapa rabara bo shibrianta ba, rabara bara shandi bini biha, 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 ikapa nda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Now we are taking our next prayer. We are declaring in prayer today, in the mighty name of Jesus, that anything, anything, anything that needs to be taken away from your life, you are declaring that permanently, may Jehovah God deliver you. Anything, anything that needs to be taken away from your life, you are declaring that may Jehovah God deliver you. Anything that needs to be taken away from your life, you are declaring that may heaven come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are declaring permanently anything that needs to be permanently taken from your life. You are declaring in the mighty name of Jesus. May God come through for you. There are certain things that you need deliverance from. There are certain things that without them you can't do nothing. With, with, if they don't leave, if they don't go, there is nothing that you can do. But you are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. That may Jehovah God deliver you. May Jehovah God come through for you. May Jehovah God come through for you. 
you. You are declaring permanently. Let there be a deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Masukaba, lift up your voice and let's pray. Abranda ba shabaya, raba ba kosha banta ba ya, raba banda ba kosha branta ba ya. I masuka banda ba ya, raba debri anta ba, abanda ba kosha banta ba ya, raba raba shibri anta ba ya, abanda ba kosha branta ba, raba debri abanta ba ya, abanda ba kosha banta ba ya, raba banda ba ya ba, raba debri abanta ba ya, abanda ba shanti bi bi kapa, i abanda ba kosha ba ya, i abanda ba shwanta ta, i abanda ba kosha ba ya, raba raba roshki bi anta ba ya, abanda ba kosha ba ya, abadwa kabranta ba, raba raba 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 kabranta ba, raba anda ba shwanta ba ya, abanda ba kosha banta ba ya, i abanda ba shwanta ta, raba raba kabranta ba shwanta, abanda ba kosha banta ba, i abanda ba ra boshi bi anta, mika shwanta ta anda ba ya, raba ba kosha ba, raba ba kosha ba, raba ba kosha ba, raba ba kosha ba, i abazu anta ta anta, raba da ba shwanta ra ra boshi ba, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father we pray for your permanent deliverance, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything frustrating your people, anything limiting your people by the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Masika paya, rapa panda basi anta paya, rebe rebe kabranta pa, apa da ba kosha banta paya, i apa da ba kosha branta paya, rebe pende rebe rebe kapa, apa da ba kosha rebe rebe, randa da ba shaya, apa dua kabranta paya, apa da ba juante ta, rebe 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 haba, rebe 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 haba, rebe 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 haba, abanda ba shanda ba da branta paya, abranda ba ju. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are taking your next prayer. You are declaring as God used the little girl in Naaman's house to bring the deliverance. You are declaring that may God bring your way someone, that may God reuse someone that will bring you your deliverance. Naaman's, Naaman's house girl, Naaman's house help was the one that was used to bring the deliverance. But you are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a permanent deliverance. You are speaking prophetically. May God bring someone your way that will connect you to that level, that will bring that help, that, that, that thing that has been frustrating you. May God release your helper. May God release a helper. May God release a helper. May God release a helper. Anybody that needs to come through for you to help you get through that situation, you are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Some all you need possibly is someone introducing you to an idea. All you need is someone just endorsing something for you. All you need is someone just releasing a word over your life. All you need is possibly God using me to break that thing from your life. But you are praying wherever ever that day your helper is, may Jehovah God release them. Lift up your voice and let's pray. Masuka paya, raba ba kosha bataya, pede be kabranta pa, randa da ba shabranta pa ya, ikapa da ba shibiri bi kapa, randa da ba kosha banta pa ya, raba panda branta ba dua kapa, raba da ba shibiri anta pa ya, apanda banta ba da ba shaba, raba ba shwanta ta, rebe be kabranta pa, rapanda ba kosha. Shabade bihaya, iya banda bara bosh kibri anta baya, abranta banta bara bosh kabranta baya, rapa panda ba kosha ba, iya padwa kabranta baya, apede be kabranta baya, iya nda ba shwande re bosh kabranta, apadu kaba zebere biha. Father, we pray, may you bring divine help, divine assistance in the mighty name of Jesus, so that everyone that is going through that one thing shall receive permanent deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, your God, Azia Basuada, Mazuka Baziadaya, Rebebe Baziadaya, Rabba Bazuadabaya, Azuka Bantabaya, Azuka Pata, Mika Panda Bahaya, Rabba Bashuantata, Mika Tudibi Hapaya, Rapanda Bashanda Baraba, Rapa Parabashuanda 
In the name of Jesus. Now you are taking your last one prayer. And then I will leave you. And then on Monday we continue. You are taking your last one prayer. You are declaring in the mighty name of Jesus. You are speaking and saying that, oh Lord, today I don't know. If I always say, if you don't acknowledge that you have a problem, there is no one that can help you. If you don't acknowledge this problem that is, I mean, that you have a problem, there is no one that can help you. Naaman had an issue, but he covered it. Naaman had an issue, but he did not want anybody to know. Naaman had an issue, but it had been with him for years, and no one knew except the people that were closest to him. But you are praying in the mighty name of Jesus that today, whatever it takes for God to come through for you concerning that situation, may you present yourself bare. You are telling the Lord, Father, this is my issue. Present your case. You are presenting your case before God. You know, sometimes you just have to go to God as an open book so that the Lord God will be with you. Even if you don't have the courage to tell your pastor. Even if you don't have the courage to tell your friend. Even if you don't have the courage to tell your prophet. You have to present it before God. Present your case before God. Father, this is my issue. Father, come through for me. You've got to present yourself as an open book. Don't try to cover up things when you are dealing with God. Don't try to make it up. No, tell the Lord. Father, this is my problem. Father, you know I, 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 I have got this challenge. Father, I am coming before you. Help me out. Lift up your voice. Present your case. Present your case. Present your case before God. 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 Ask for deliverance. Ask him to come through for you. Lift up your voice right now. Mazuabaya. Rabakoshaba. Antarabaya. Rabakoshabantabaya. Father, we present ourselves. May you come through, O God. In the name of Jesus. God bless you for praying. God bless you for praying. Now I want to take our last prayer. If you are watching me, wherever you are watching me from this God's servant, Prophet David, um, 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 the, the leader, the chief servant in Dome, and also um, the senior pastor of Grace Arena Ministries here in the United Kingdom. Now, if you are here in the UK on the 9th of March, we are having a mega all night at number 593 Barking Road in East London. Trust me, 9th of March, wherever you are in the United Kingdom, please find your way to East London, East London. London um Number 593 Barking Road. Barking Road is a popular road in East London. Please make sure you find your way to number 593 Barking Road, East London. If you are here in the United Kingdom on the 9th of March, on the 9th of March, the date is the 9th of March. We are having a mega all night here in the United Kingdom. Trust me, lives are going to be transformed. Destinies are going to receive a visitation. God is going to come through for you in a way that is going to blow your mind. So you need to come through. You need need to come through. You need to come through. You need to come through. You need to prepare yourself for this mega all night. Wherever you are in the UK, don't come alone. Come with your friends. Come with your family. Invite as many people and come and encounter the power of God. Encounter the prophetic anointing. Encounter a great visitation on the 9th of March. Please prepare yourself and prepare your family. Spread the word. If you are in Africa and you have got a relative in the UK, tell them that 
the prophet is organizing a mega all night. So give them the address, send the flyer to them and let them come. The theme of that event on the 9th of March here in the UK is uh, has been titled The Anointing That Breaks the Yoke. The Anointing That Breaks the Yoke. We are going to declare that every yoke that has being placed upon people has to be broken. The anointing that breaks the yoke. So prepare yourself for it on the 9th of March. If you are in the UK, if you want to fellowship with us, we've got two branches in North London and in South London. Tomorrow in the morning, 11.30, we meet in North London at Golden Hill in Enfield and 5.30 in the evening, we meet in South London in Peckham Road, Leipzig Place of Old Kent Road. Be part of us and trust me, your life shall never be the same again. I want us to take our last prayer. I want, if you want to partner with me, inbox me right now. If you want to partner with my ministry, partners are people I pray with all the time. Once every week, we fast and pray together. There is a strong connection between me and my partners. I pray for them and I seek for their spiritual welfare. So if you want to partner with my ministry, inbox me and then we shall take you through the partnership. I want you to go to my websites and register register at the website so that you can be receiving emails and prophetic direct prophetic messages from me god bless you now i want to take our next prayer what we are taking our last prayer you are declaring in the mighty name of the lord jesus you are praying that may the lord god do something new in your life may god give you a testimony before this month ends may god give you a testimony you are declaring something new he said remember not the former things neither consider the things of old behold i do a new thing you are praying that may god do something new in your life lift up your voice and come on let's pray lift up your voice and let's pray that god will do something new lift up your voice and let's pray Imanto Shabranta Pa, Ia Parabo Shabranta Paya, Rababa Shuantata, Abanda Bako Shabranta Baya, Rababako Shabranta Baya, Ia Branda Ba Shabaraba, Ia Panda Bako Shaba, Ia Branda Ba Shabaraba, Apada Bako Shabranta Ba, Ia Parabako Shabanta Baya, Ia Branda Ba, Rabaraba Shaba, Rabarabra Shibrianta, Rabarabra Shabranta Ba, Rababanda Ba, Ia Paraba Shuanda Baya, Ia Branda Ba Shaba, Ia Branda Father, we pray, O God, may you minister to your people this month. Anybody that is trusting you for an open door, them that are trusting you for jobs, them that are trusting you for open doors, them that are trusting you for visas, anybody that is watching me right now, I pray for your visitation over their lives in the name of Jesus. Mazuka Paya, Adabo Shabasendi, Iyababazu Adabahaya, come through for their children. Some more God, your Trusting you for a visitation for their children. I pray in the name of Jesus. Adabazu Adabahaya, Rababazu and Tataya, Apadabako Shebere Behaya, Ayazu and Adabrantapa, Aparabaya Bantaba Brantaba, Rabebebebebebeha, Rabebebebebeha, 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 Aparabazuanda, Ia Barabazuanda. Mika tu da ba zante, abranta banta ba, abranta banta ba, abere me kabranta ba ya. In the mighty name of Jesus, mazuka ba, raba ba koja, 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 raba ba koja. Apa da ba zante bere me haya, raba da brosh kibri anta ba ya. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of the Lord come through for you. May the favor of God be released over your life. May God give you a visitation this year. May God give you a visitation this week. May God turn around things for your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything that has been frustrating your life and your destiny, anything that has been frustrating your career, anything that has been frustrating your marriage, your relationship, that one thing that is not making you have peace, I pray, may God come through for you and deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare it done. Amen. 
God bless you for connecting. I want you to share the broadcast. If you have not shared it, please share it for me and let someone else watch it and be blessed. God willing, on Monday evening, same time, 7 p.m. GMT, that is um, um, London time, 7 p.m. I'll be coming your way again for another session. Please, from Monday, Tuesday, we are having another marathon. So please connect with me from Monday, Tuesday through and your life shall never be the same again. God shall visit you and meet you at the point of your need. I need you to just connect with me and I need you I need you to share the broadcast and I need you to connect with this prayer with the seed. If you have prayed, I always say you always connect your prayer with the seed so that your prayer can have effect in the spirit. Just take a seed. When you go to church tomorrow, you can sow the seed in your own church. Otherwise, you can connect the seed with the prophet. If you want to sow the seed with the prophet to me, you can sow it in my ministry. There is a pay bill number. There is an account number if you are in the UK. Um, there is an account number if you are in Ghana. Otherwise, you can go to my website and sow your seed and heaven shall meet you at the point of your need. May God favor you. May God bless you. May doors unlimited open unto you. May that one thing be delivered from your life. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you for sharing. God bless you for sharing. God bless you. Love you. May God bless you. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye.